Hey everyone, I'm Simon from Midwest Clay Sports and today I'd like to introduce you guys to Mech's latest clay target machine, the 2019 Defender 400, right here. I've uh, also had a few customers ask me about what makes this machine so great compared to other brands, so I decided to bring along a second machine from one of our competitors today, just so we can do a quick side-by-side -side comparison. What I'm going to do is just go through a few of the key features of the machine, uh, just to show the adjustments, uh, throw a couple of clays, just so that you can see how the machines compare to each other. Both machines are able to tilt back to about 70 degrees. So I'm going to use my three quarter inch wrench. I can undo the machine like so and tilt it back all the way for a almost vertical teal target. I'm doing the nuts on the tilt base. I can tilt the machine 35 degrees to the left and 35 degrees to the right as well as having it tilted all the way back so I can throw a looping type presentation with this machine. All right, moving on to the Promatic machine, works very similarly. Again, I'll get my wrench and I can tilt the machine back to 70 degrees, like so, so I can get those, uh, those high targets. And I can also tilt the machine left or right. So I can tilt the machine to the left by undoing the uh, 24 mil bolt on the side of the machine, like so. And then if I want to tilt it to the right, you adjust it like so. And once you've got the uh, angle set to where you want it, just make sure that both bolts are locked together. And that's how you get your left and right tilt on this machine. I'm just going to level it up. So you can see the difference between adjusting for left and right windage on both machines. Um, I find the mech is very easy to adjust just with one wrench. So what I would like to do now is just throw a couple of targets off each machine just so you can see how they both throw. Okay, so we've thrown a few targets and as you can see both machines throw the same distance and they both have the same recocking time. Um, the mech machine on the right hand side is very easy to adjust for left and right tilt. Both machines also have stainless steel throwing plates as well. A couple of other features I like about the mech machine are in the electrical box. Very easy to remove without using any wrenches or screwdrivers. You just have a couple of wing nuts. When you take the box off, you have a 5-pin 60-amp relay which plugs into a base, so it's very quick and easy to change if you ever do need to replace it. And then there is a breaker which uh, has a manual reset button on the back of it and then a small fuse as well. That is everything that's inside the electrical box. So very easy to get to and access um, and very easy to change out a, a relay if you ever need to. I've shown the differences between both machines. They both work the same way. They both throw the same distance. You can tilt them left or right to throw curling targets. The best news is the machine on the right, the MSRP is $2,095. And this is for a 400 capacity sporting clays machine made right here in the USA in Mayville, Wisconsin. The machine on the left has an MSRP of $2,895. So we're talking an $800 difference for two machines that work exactly the same way.